the central government has finally given its approval to the suburban railway network. And if all goes well, the project is expected to commence early next year. And this is a very good news to the Bengaluru real estate sector. Hello, I'm Priyanka Rachaya and I welcome you to today's episode of Property Matters. Population density is more in Mumbai when compared to Bengaluru. Yet Bengaluru is more notorious for its traffic jams when compared to the city of Dream. Ever wondered why? Mumbai has 2.2 crore people, double the size of Bengaluru, but only has 40 lakh vehicles. Half as many vehicles as Bengaluru. Bengaluru has 80 lakh vehicles. How did a small city like Bengaluru get 80 lakh vehicles where Mumbai has only 40 lakh vehicles? The secret is suburban train. Mumbai has the local trains. Every day, 75 lakh people use the suburban train in Mumbai and that's why there is no traffic jam in Mumbai city. With Bengaluru's IT corridors spread across the peripheral areas, the suburban railway network was a no-brainer answer to decongest the city's roads. We have 180 kilometers of railway line within the city, nearly 40 railway stations all over the city, especially in the IT belt. Wherever the maximum traffic is there in Bengaluru, the outer ring road, Sarjapur, you know, Martahali and Whitefield, that's where we also have railway lines. But yet, we don't have a railway tra uh, trains going from the city to there and there to back. So the suburban train project will have a huge impact on the lakhs of people that commute to these IT parks every day. Therefore, it is going to reduce traffic and reduce traffic, uh, so reduce pollution and therefore it is going to improve the quality of life for all of us in Bangalore city. White field and also the electronic city 1 and 2 and up to Atibala we can take care of that one and Devan Alley side and Mysore, uh, Bidzi it is. Bidzi also a lot of industrial towns are coming up there and also the, the highway is also getting wide into 45 meters and plus we are having electric brakes also, electric already traction have come. Obviously this a corridor is getting levelable very fast. The suburban railway network will be expanded across four corridors. In corridor number one, that is KSR Bengaluru City to Devanahalli, Manyata Tech Park, Bharatiya City, Kirloskar IT Park in Hepal, Aerospace Industrial Corridor around KIAL and Industrial Corridor in Dodabalapura will be impacted. In corridor number 2, that is Chikkabanavara, Yashwantpur and Bayapanahalli, IT tech parks located in Bayapanahalli, Whitefield and the industrial corridors on Tumkur Road like Dabaspet will be impacted. In corridor number 3, that is Hilalike, Yalahanka and Rajanakunte, Whitefield, Hebbal and other IT parks on Ballari Road will be impacted. And in corridor number 4, that is Kengeri, KSR Bengaluru and Whitefield Global Village Tech Park, Bidhi Industrial Area and companies located on Kanakpura Road and Whitefield will be impacted. This project is likely to have a significant impact on the Bengaluru real estate sector. This is how the suburban railway network will impact Bengaluru real estate. Better connectivity leads to better social infrastructure. Good social infrastructure triggers more settlement. More people to settle means increased demand for properties. Increased demand instigates more housing projects. Housing projects are expected to see a rise, especially in the affordable sector. Also, there is a likelihood of formation of more satellite towns due to ease of commutation. Traffic congestion and population density within the city can also be controlled to an extent with the functioning of the suburban railway network. I think wherever the uh, suburban railways are coming up, uh, the government has already planned up a transit oriented development and be giving increasing FAR uh, so that you know uh, city can grow in a radial manner. And this is going to in turn help uh, real estate and even the more developments will happen on the suburban part on the outskirts of the city wherever the suburban railway network is there. Reduce reduction in traffic uh, and uh, reducing the stress on the already overstressed uh, utility services and overall uh, it will help to the customer to the home buyer in terms of affordability and in terms of commuting. So the suburban railway network will not just lead to better commutation but to more housing projects 
and a renewed interest in real estate. Do like and share our video and subscribe to MBTV for more such useful information. Also, do not forget to follow me on Twitter. This is Priyanka Rachaya signing off with camera person Pragar. Please subscribe to Magic Pricks on YouTube and press the bell icon to get new videos.